Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my website at Excel Dashboard Templates.com so you're sure to get the latest tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the thermometer chart error that I introduced so that uh, you can make your charts look better um, when you are going above your current sales goal. Uh, before I do that, please remember to hit the like button and share a comment. It really helps me with YouTube engagement. Also, please share with your friends so we can get over 100,000 subscribers. Really appreciate it. All right, to fix this issue, uh, here's the issue in a nutshell. If you go above the current sales goal of 25,000, let's say we got to 50,000. You'll notice that the chart is additive. If you go above the 50,000, you stop at 50,000 and then you add the extra original sales goal on top of it. And that causes a problem in that it should only be um, a total of 50,000, not uh, 75,000. So we need to add a new data point. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here in cell A8 and we're gonna create a uh, current sales um, and ooh, let me edit that we're going to say current sales for chart doesn't really matter what you call it just so that you know what that label is then what you want to do is you want to create a minimum formula equals minimum tab i am going to select cell b2 i am then going to select b4 i want the minimum between those two values to equal my value for this red bar that you see in the chart. So once we've created that new formula, click in your chart, make sure you select uh, cell, um, the one that activates B4. Notice uh, the green one is um, these two different ones that are showing up there. And then this one is the one that's going on B4. I'm gonna go out into my data set. And I'm just gonna drag it straight down to current sales for the chart. And voila, we have fixed the chart. The total is 50,000, which is what our current sales are. 25,000 of our original goal. And we are now all the way up to 50,000. So if I go ahead and change some values down to 24,000, you'll notice that it works there. 10,000, uh, it works there fine. We're having the headroom of up to our goal. When I get to 25,000, um, should fill up the entire range. And once I start to go above it, like 30,000, you'll notice that it starts to add the extra 5,000 on top of my sales goal in green. So now you've fixed your Excel thermometer chart. I'll have a link in there so that you can go download the file and try the fix yourself. Also, I, I'll leave a link to the overall uh, tutorial on how to build this incredible thermometer chart in Excel. And hopefully you can try that out on your own. Thanks for watching my video. Remember to hit the like button and leave a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my video channel by clicking on the EDT logo and then scroll down and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. If you need more details or links, click on the step-by-step -step image. Finally, check out these other videos you might also like.